Hey everybody! Hi everybody! Hey, what's up everybody? Hey everybody! Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Icy Blue Ancient Glacial Spring Water. Next up is Triumph Water. So what these two waters have in common is these were both sold in a 12-pack on Amazon. They're both reasonably priced. They're both, um, you know, a similar size and they're both a high pH water. The Icy Blue Water is from Canada. The Triumph water is uh, from Pennsylvania. Hey, you two want to go down to Southside Nat and get some jumbo? And I'm going to do a taste test and decide which one I think tastes the best. And let's move on to the next round. So the Triumph water was a 12 pack. It was $14.97 on Amazon. The Icy Blue was $19.79 on Amazon for a 12 pack. Compared to a grocery store, those are kind of high prices. Um, but considering you're paying for shipping costs, you know, on top of the water, it's not that bad for high pH water for both of these. The Icy Blue Water is an award-winning water. This is a gold medal winner of the Berkey Springs Gold Medal Award for high quality water. And in the past, I've actually agreed with the uh, gold medals, so I have high hopes for this one. This one's, this one's kind of a cool bottle. This is not dense. This is how the bottle is supposed to be. Almost looks like flowing water or maybe a, a glacier. Like, it's it's a cool design. It's not, it's not an accident. It's not just dense. The, the Icy Blue Water is a 4.3 on Amazon. The Triumph Water is a 4.4. I think this is kind of a boring, like a, just a boring bottle in comparison to this. The, the comparison is based on the taste of the water, but I'm also just, you know, talking about the bottle itself. This is kind of like a boring design compared to this. Like, you would stand out walking around drinking this. On Amazon, for the Icy Blue Water, somebody says it's a horrible taste, and it's like toilet water. For Triumph, somebody says they did not like it because it advertises a 8.5 pH, and they tested it, and it was actually a 6.0 in this Amazon reviewer's test. So later on, I'm going to do my own pH test. They both claim to be an 8.5 pH. This one says it's 7.5 slash 8.5, so it's somewhere between those two. The Triumph water is minerally ionized and says that they take this incredibly pure spring water and they ionize it by adding real minerals, uh, getting an ideal pH of, of uh, 8.5. And that's why there's a square around the pH. I'm not a big fan of Trump, I'm not, Trump President Trump. And I don't like that this kind of reminds me of his name. It says Trump if you remove some letters. I don't like that, but maybe I'm just overthinking it. Um, <laughs> and that shouldn't really affect the taste of the water anyway. I do like that this one is fluoride-free. And with the Triumph water, it also says that for every case you buy, it helps them donate and aid the National Parks Foundation. They don't say, or at least I didn't see them saying how much they donate. So maybe they donate like one penny or maybe a fraction of a penny for each case sold just because they didn't say, or maybe it's a lot of money. Maybe they donate half the profits to national parks, but just based on them not saying makes me think it's not a ton of money. They're about the same size. Uh, this is 500 milliliters, this is 550 milliliters, so this is a little bit bigger, but per ounce, this is also still more expensive. So let's just open them up and do a taste test. This one really has a lot of attention to detail, even on the lid. It made a unique lid, Canadian maple leaf on there. You know, it's not just a generic bottle that they're slapping a logo onto. They really even made their own lid. That's really good. That's a, that's a really good one. Thumbs up right away. The icy blue one is from 135 meters underground. Through thousands of years of filtration, it comes up to the top through um, just natural filtration. And it's, it's a good tasting one. In the past, I have also liked waters from deep underground. Summit Springs water is from just deep underground and it just comes up to the surface. Generally, I like that with the natural filtration through sand and, and whatnot. Wow, that actually is really good. Kind of like an earthy taste, but in a good way. A like a dirt, dirty sandbox kind of taste, but again, in a, in a good way. Let's try the Triumph water. No, no, no smell. 
It's also a good one. Uh, this one almost tastes like a like a distilled water in a weird way. It, it's a spring water. Uh, these are both good. This is going to be tough. These are both getting a thumbs up just to begin with. I'm going to do the pH test, see if they're accurate or not. All right, here's the results of the pH test. I'm colorblind, so I'm going to let you guys look at the chart and decide for yourself which color you think they match up with. Again, they both advertise an 8.5 pH level. I forgot to mention, this one also has a a blue tint to it. I think it's blue. I'm colorblind, but I think it's a little blue tint. It just helps uh, protect the water and keep it more pure. And I also think it looks nice, just with the design of the bottle, it looks nice having that little tint to it. This is a Canadian water, so on the nutritional information, they also have French words, so there's English and French on it. And it's a double-sided sticker, so if you look through it, you can see... Um, you know, different picture looking through the bottle on the label. Uh, I noticed on this company's website, they have links to social media. But if you click on the Twitter link, it'll just take you to Twitter.com. If you click on the Facebook link, it'll just take you to Facebook.com. And they still have a link for Google Plus for some reason, which was shut down. I'm guessing this website was probably made from some kind of a template. And they just didn't bother to get rid of the social media stuff or update it, I guess. Which is kind of um, kind of just a bad sign. Just shows that they don't like pay attention to little details like that. But the water is very good tasting. It's it's really good. This bottle is very similar to a Smart Water kind of bottle. It is pretty minimalistic though. I mean, it's not a bad design. I'm just saying that I think this is not as good as the icy blue bottle design. Maybe like a very mild sweet taste to this super mild like you would have to be looking for it you'd have to be thinking about the, t the taste and flavor of the water incredibly mild flavor the taste of a uh, distilled water like i think this is based on my taste this seems like a lower tds than this one again both getting a thumbs up but going back and forth i like this one a little bit more the icy blue one i think the bottle is better but i think it's i'm making my decision based on the taste and just how, how I feel drinking it. So congratulations, I see blue. Um, I should also mention the water drinker uh, Windows 8253 drinks water. How does it, his account was shut down? Did you guys hear about that? Yeah, YouTube's just not letting him sign in. And then if you go to his channel, it just says it's like not available or something. If you have some free time, maybe email YouTube about it and just, you know, ask them what happened because like, I had my channel shut down um, a while back and I think it was brought back partly because people like contacted YouTube about it um, so I, I've been trying to communicate with Windows through Twitter and Snapchat and trying to email YouTube about it just to help out like because I think channels like ours like all the water drinkers who post tons of videos I think YouTube sometimes sees it as spam, even though it's not. It's just, it's like, it's repetitive, which I guess is sort of spam, but, um, but we do put it like effort into it more than real spammers. Um, so if you have some free time, you know, contact YouTube about that. Um, hopefully Windows will get his channel back. Because he was in like the top four, I think. He had thousands of water videos. And he also had a, ton of other videos on his channel and it's clearly important to him it's, um sucks like i i know how much it sucks to have that taken away and yeah he was he was a big part of the community he was in the the new year's video and like commented on a ton of my videos and was always very active in, in the water drinking community so um hopefully he gets that back um Hey, uh, my girlfriend got her driver's license a couple days ago. She's, um, we've been practice driving together for months and she finally passed it. I think I mentioned her trying to get that, um, in another water review video. And she did. So, ending the video with some good news and some bad news. Um, alright, congratulations. I see blue, you're moving on to round two.